good, Jess Setters. Dame Dash fires shots at Jay-Z again. Lately, it seems like Dame Dash is showing no mercy to Jay-Z. First on Math Hoffa, and now on the That's F'd Up podcast, Dame Dash is saying how he really feels about Jay-Z. The topic of Ether versus Takeover came up, and to my surprise, as well as many others, Dame Dash chose Ether without hesitation. I mean, I thought Dame would at least give Jay a chance, but that wasn't the case at all. Dame also clowned the diss track Super Ugly and said that it was trash. Y'all won't believe this. Listen, I'll play the clip right now and then come back with my commentary. Let's get into it. So, um, I'm a big Nas guy. And I want to ask you, because <laughs> as a Nas fan, I feel because JC has been so profitable as a business, he's been put up, and JC's great as a musician, but he's not like the top 10 artists, I, rap artists I listen to. Do you feel that because of his business prowess and success, they've put him higher than he should be musically? Again, I don't really think about that. Like, you know, Nas, I think his business acumen, from what I read, is is really heavy. Like, uh, recently, yeah. he Not recently. I mean, Ooh, Nas? That, yeah. Some, Nas' he, business is crazy. You got you to gotta remember that certain things are about narrative. So, the reason why Jay and I, the conversation we had, like, why are you acting like that? Was because I want to be looked at as a businessman. This is what he said. That was my, his narrative. So... You know, regardless of who has the most money, like Kanye might be a billionaire or Rihanna, but they don't come across talking about I'm a business person. Right. That's just his narrative. Like, you know, George Clooney and and, and the other Ryan Reynolds, they all billionaires that are, you know, on the low. They don't go and be like, I'm a businessman. That's his thing to make announcements about business, because I guess he might have been insecure about the fact that he was a rapper. But I don't I don't I don't think that I don't think that Nas gets any less Accolades. I just think Nas doesn't work so hard on press. Okay. Like you got to remember, like Jay's married to Beyonce. You know, like none of us are married. Like that's not what we're doing, right? So that comes with a lot of celebrity and a lot of being in the newspaper. So a lot of us don't want. We don't gauge our success on how many times we in the newspaper. Like going to an event, every fucking event that exists must be the most. That's a business within itself. So there's like a certain circle of like 10, 20 people that are at every single event, every day at an event. Mm. There's people that that's their job. They leverage celebrity maybe because of lack of something. So when people are outside too much, that to me is overcompensation. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's why I stopped going out so much. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm tired. You got to get dressed. You got to go there. There's a driver. It's all this type of stuff. is, You know, it's a big to-do when you go to events. Think about going, and, and it'd be like everywhere in the world. I'd be like, God damn. How many award shows could one person go to? <laughs> how many red carpets could somebody want to walk on? Like, that shit, when I go out like that, I want to go home. I'd be like, oh, okay, I'm out of here. It's not like I want to be there. So just because I think that's, like, for me, I think Nas, for me, the way his approach is way cooler. Cause he does cool shit, you know. His shit is cool. Like you know, then he do Uber. He's a businessman. He killing it. He killing it. He just no real businessmen and the real rich guys don't make announcements about their money. They don't. Like yeah. the guys that I know that got real money are not on Forbes. Okay. I think what uh, Alejandro wanted to know when Nas came out with that Ether album, what was you guys like? Image of that was you guys like we got getting. Nah, you know, nah, how we, do you feel about Jay response? I Jay's think response that's where, was I think terrible. That's where, yeah, it, but the it thing didn't is, we had out. first hit him with the 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 the, the joint at Summer Jam that was kind of hard when we take over the things. But then when he came with the ether, I was kind of hyped because he said my name. I was hyped. <laughs> like yes, I'm in a map record. But the response, I wasn't there for the response. I was, I had landed. Irv Gotti fucked that one up. You know, every time Irv got in that business, he fucked shit up. So you would say Nas won the bad that battle? Yeah, that battle. Yeah, yes, that, that's what shot. I thought. But like, you know, what do you mean, but you know, he did. <laughs> yeah, he won that. One. I'm not saying he didn't. <laughs> he threw that ether on him. He had the nigga. He had him apologizing. Like, this, the, the the rap that he did was whack. Like when I heard it, I was pissed. Like I heard it. I was coming from doing a Rockwear ad on a private. You know, I just landed from like Arizona, 
And I'm listening to this shit on the radio. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So I'm like, I made, I was like, go to the fucking uh, baseline, you know, because I want to know what happened. I'm like, what the fuck happened? And they in there high-fiving and something. What y'all high-fiving for? This shit is whack. This nigga talking about other niggas' business and shit. Like, we don't do that, you know? And then it was like, Irv. I was like, Irv Gotti. Call Irv, though. Don't ever get my business again, bro. Like, what you doing? You not about war. You see how his wars go with rap? He doesn't win them. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that. he's not a general like that. So it was like, stay out my business. And Irv keeps talking about me all the time. Like, stop talking about me, Irv. Damn. <laughs> He's still talking about you? Yeah, I be getting these little interviews and shit. He cut the ding, 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 ding. Like, what the fuck? Who the fuck cares? You know? I don't feel like explaining that. Leave that alone. And all, all this other shit. So it's like, I don't know. Sometimes I don't understand Irv. So have you ever had a sit down after your beef with Jay or even Irv Gotti? Have you had a sit down with them afterwards? I ain't got no beef with Irv Gotti. He oh. just gets on my nerves. Oh. I just want him to stop talking about me. That's okay. Like, stop talking about me. But um, I, I'm, stop, I'm sick of him bringing me up on interviews like I'm the go-to for him or something, you know? But because um, his, his story ain't, ain't the story, you know? But with Jay, like there was a time that like if my daughter wanted to go to a show or something... I would hit Jay, and not even like his show. Like if I wanted to go to Mumford and Sons or some shit, and as, like a gentleman, he did everything right. Like our correspondence, so we, but we never had that talk. Oh, okay. Nah, he wouldn't. He, I don't think he wants that talk. I you know, think he's gonna he, have he, it one day. I would. I would welcome it. Yeah, I want that talk. I'd be curious to know why he did what he did. Right here on that's fucked up. <laughs> Jay Z and Dame <laughs> Dash. That, 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 that would be me coming together. That would be me. Like yo, that was fucked up. Why <laughs> <laughs> you do that, my nigga? Like damn, you know, you didn't have to approach it like that. And why are you still fucking with me, man? <laughs> Call your crew, man. Call your dogs off me, Shadowball. Just when everybody thought the tension had cooled down, and Dame Dash and Jay Z were starting to work through the issues, it heated back up. To think that these two were brothers at one point and made history together, and now this? Jay-Z got way too much at stake right now to truly respond to this, but I know he's probably furious inside. Personally, I think that Ether and TakeOver were way closer than most people give Jay credit, and I think Jay did his thing on TakeOver. Unfortunately, though, this might put the ether versus takeover debate to bed for good. I mean, it's hard to defend takeover when someone who was once Jay Z's right hand man chooses ether. That's just my opinion, though. And hopefully, they can work through this and get over their feud and become brothers again. Y'all comment down below. Do you agree with Dame Dash when it comes to Jay Z versus Nas? And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.